All right, uh, have everything set up here. I think we're into some vocal warm-ups. Vienna beef, Vienna beef, hot dog, North and Clyburn. Okay, sounding good, sounding good so far. Lauren and Eric should be here any second, I think. Oh, hey, hey there, come on in. Hey, what? Mike? <laughs> Wait. It's me. You're Mike? Cousin Mike! Mike, what do you, why, why are you in CJ's house? Hey, Lauren, what's up? Hey, uh, this is your cousin Mike. This is my cousin Mike's, for some reason, in CJ's bedroom. Uh, we're here to record the episode. Uh, we're here to record an episode. Yeah, me too. And you're here to also record the episode. That's right. I see. Okay. I This has happened to me enough times that I kind of sort of feel like I'm gathering what's going on here. Where's CJ? Uh, he couldn't make it. So he, uh, he tapped me to host the show again. I'm really hoping I'm getting closer to taking it over. It'd be really chill if CJ would keep us in the loop for that kind of thing. Because yeah. I, I had all kinds of... I wanted to catch up with... C- it's, uh, it's, nice, it's nice to meet you, Mike. It's nice to uh, meet you in person. Yeah, this is great. You, you guys watched The Bear, the show? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but how did you get in here? Oh, I have keys. Does does CJ know that? Yeah, I think he should. I, I cats it one time, so I, I figured he wouldn't mind if I just let myself in. If you made a copy of his key and let uh-huh. yourself in whenever you wanted to? Yeah. You thought that would be cool? Yeah, well, we're cousins, so, I mean, family is all fair, right? No. Hey, checks out for me. <laughs> you guys have a weird family. All right, here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, welcome to the show, another Cousin Mike edition. We're back, baby. <laughs> and better than ever. Just so happy to see you, Mike. Yeah, me too, cousin. Get it? It's part of, it's part of the show? It's like, it's from the it's show from the that show. I was excited to talk to my brother yeah. Yeah. about. So the cousin thing, is that is that like a... You, you guys are from Chicago. You're from the Burbs, right? Yeah. Yeah. So is that is that a real thing that happens between people who live here? Nope. <laughs> no, not sure at all. <laughs> okay. I mean, to be fair, I, I guess I shouldn't say that far because uh, I know CJ does refer to a cousin of his as Cousin Eric, as if that's part of his name. Yeah, but that's just because his brother's name is Eric, right? That's right. That's, yeah, that's, just, mean, that's just for clarification. To me, you are Cousin Eric. Whoa, that's kind of blowing my mind. I didn't really think about that. Huh. Yeah. Okay, well, that's not that interesting. I'm just wondering if, uh, <laughs> if like, if friends, like, if you're walking around in your high school and you're like, uh-huh. "Hey, cousin, let's go, uh, let's go do the skateboarding later," is that something that you would? Oh my God, you sound exactly like <laughs> there me. There are two cousin mics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's yeah. That was freaky. Wow. I, I'm just so it's is it like an old school Chicago thing? Because I felt like watching this show, there was a lot of stuff that felt like old Chicago. Uh-huh. people and things and references is that like it would your would your parents generation or like your grandparents generation would they say that kind of thing like where did that come from and why is it a thing is my biggest question well my grandparents are dead so can't ask them uh brutal thanks for okay. bringing that up you don't know oh. any other humans from that generation of people <laughs> the greatest generation you mean yikes <laughs> Eric, can you think of any family members? I, I don't, I, I'm not, nothing are coming to mind for nope. me. They're all dead, I think. You said, oh yeah, my grandparents are dead. And I was like, oh, well, what about the grandparents on the other side? Nope, those are dead Th- too. They're also dead, yeah. Boy, we have no living grandparents. I am learning a lot about your family. <laughs> and cousin, uh, cousin Mike, how, how far away did you live from your cousins growing up? Uh, like a few town o- towns over. Okay, it's so like a 30, 40 minute drive. 30, 40, uh, two, three uh, trips and yeah, about uh, two, two, two or three, three trips. Two yeah. or three trips and you take the bus to your, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. And you sound like that and <laughs> CJ and his, his brother, his brother cousin sound like this. Him? And you sound like I that. I sound like this. Do, <laughs> do your parents yep. sound like that as well? My parents? Oh yeah. You're hundred percent. Your aunt and uncle sound uh, like that? That's a good question. Do they sound like that? You know, I haven't seen them in a while. Now that I'm thinking about Are it. Are they I'm... also dead? 
everybody in your family besides they, the people in this room and CJ? I'm sort of feeling like they must be, right? I mean, is I there not a are newsletter? Are my parents dead? Is that <laughs> what we're asking? Yeah. yeah. yeah it, Mike, what do you think about hmm, this? Canonically, are my parents dead? Yes. Let's say yes. <laughs> Yep. That's just, right. Thanks it's, for bringing that up again. Uh, all my relatives are right, dead, except well, my cousins. Listen, it was great to meet you. I am going to head out. <laughs> no, we got an episode to do. You can't oh, go. God. That door locks, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh, great. I installed that while I had some downtime waiting for you guys to show up. So you've got like a key guy. Mm-hmm. You've got a guy who... Oh, I've got, got a guy for everything. you got a locksmith. Believe. A locksmith cousin. Uh-huh. Nice. Yeah. And him I do call cousin. Okay. Yeah. Cousin locksmith. But he Wait. married him. So he's not like a true blood cousin. Well, so an even more confusing use mm-hmm. of that word. Okay. Wait, Mike, did you not hear though? Did he die too? <laughs> he oh did. My God. Oh. I was yeah, I didn't see you at the funeral. Fred? I figured maybe you Oh no. Fred the locksmith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The best in the South Side. <laughs> oh my god, Fred? <laughs> it's like I'm actually a medium. Oh. Has that oh, never god. come up? <laughs> Oh. Uh, no, that's interesting. But anyways, moving on. <laughs> so, Mike, what have you been up to lately? <laughs> it's been a couple months. I'm so glad you asked. Well, last we spoke, you know I got that new job at Jean Sausage Shop up in Lincoln uh, Square. That's and right. I have news. I have been promoted to the rooftop Chicago or sausage guy. Whoa. Sorry, say that title one more time. I, I am... <laughs> I am senior rooftop sh- sausage Chicago guy. Rooftop Sorry, shit. <laughs> Say that one more time. I'm the guy on the rooftop at Jeans making sausages. And that's what it says on your business card. Mm-hmm. It says, "Hello, my name is I am the guy at the rooftop of Jeans making sausages." Guy. Guy. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. How are you liking it up there? I love it. I mean. We only get about three months out of the year that's nice outside, and I'm enjoying every second of that. Sorry, so you're saying the factory is open air? Outside? On the roof? Lauren, this is Jean's Sausage Shop up in Lincoln Square on Lincoln, which if if you want to get there, I could tell you how to get there from here. That's okay. Okay. Uh, You you go, it's... I said okay. Uh, It's all right. Well, it's off the Western Brown Line in case you want to make that trip. Thank you so much. Um, It's a sausage shop, so it's not a factory, but... You can hang out there and eat sausages. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the first floor is like a market, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've walked past there. Yeah. Nice. Just walked past. You haven't, haven't dipped in? No, they're always closed. You guys got weird hours. Come say hi next time. You're you, closed. Now come you on. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll do text. you work after we'll, we'll exchange contact info. I'll text you. I don't think that's necessary. Okay. Yeah. Mike, are you living at the sausage shop? <laughs> well, when all my relatives passed away, I didn't really have anywhere to turn to. They didn't leave you anything? <laughs> no. Yeah, they left me a lot of debt, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Your own parents left you, not even their home, there's just, just mm-hmm. debt. Yeah. Well, my parents, I don't know if we talked about that, they didn't really have a house. They're more uh, the roaming RV type. Mm. Nice, that's mm-hmm. interesting. That's very popular now. Mm-hmm. I would do that. Would you, would you live in a van or a, an RV? Absolutely not. No? No. no. What, what's stopping you? I need a bed. You know they have this. It's not just an those. empty cabin. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I'm a little bit more open-minded to it now. <laughs> oh, I could bring a pillow? You're putting I'm in. Cella. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cousin Mike, would you live in a... Fa- I mean, you're living on the rooftop of a... Or the top floor of a sausage store. Yeah, I I have considered it because I did know a guy who lived in a van down by the river. Uh, it was in Naperville, actually. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, but and he he made it seem pretty appealing. Yeah. He was this motivational speaker. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Motivated you to do what? Do drugs? Uh, to get a better job, I think. Yeah. So that I wouldn't have to live in a van down by the river. Well, that's great. What are the new responsibilities at your at your new? What was the title of your job again? What's your new job? Yeah, Let's I don't see. think I caught that the first <laughs> yeah. time you said that. It yeah. was definitely rooftop Chicago sausage guy. And there was a senior. Senior, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that was the part I got. Yeah. That was the promotion. Okay, cool. I get cool. senior in my title now. Oh. Oh, con- congrats. Thank you. Congrats. That's amazing. It is amazing. I'm loving it. And so, like, what do, what do you do day to day? Like, what's, what do you do with your job? Well, let's see. I uh, go up to the rooftop. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, another. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's in the title. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, my coworker Guy brings sausages to me. Cousin Guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I wait for orders to come in, and I take the sausage, I put them on the grill, and then I get to yell, "Hey, order up!" 
And then I, I talk about what type of sausage there's there. So people are know like, oh, yes, I got that sausage. Interesting. And now that I'm saying that, I'm pretty sure we have a numbering system. So actually, I just say what number order is ready. Okay. But then I include the, the name of the sausage. Interesting. I'm trying to like spread the, the inventory knowledge of like, hey, you may have gotten the plane, but these people, they ordered this type of sausage. So maybe next time. You're you trying to, to upsell. One. Upsell mm-hmm. from, the, from behind the grill. That's right. That's, that's impressive. That's how you get senior. There you go. <laughs> yeah, take initiative. Hey, proof's in the pudding. Speaking of which, sausage. I've been, in the sausage. In the sausage. Mm-hmm. I've been meaning to ask you, mm-hmm. how do you juggle work and family? <laughs> well, given that all my family is dead, uh, <laughs> don't really have to do that much. Yeah, and you just do a quick B and E into your cousin's house and mm-hmm. hang out whenever you want to. It seems yeah. like a pretty good life. This place is lovely. It is. This it is. is a, yeah, we're listen. We're goofing, but this is a beautiful condo. Very, my very lord, nice mm-hmm. home. Yeah. yeah. I can see myself living there, and maybe I will when they're not home. But you know, this is a recording, that. right? Oh, that's that's right. So <laughs> I see a lot of red yeah. lines and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was thinking this was a nice place, but now I'm sort of second guessing the like security situation here. Not maybe great. Seems easy to break into. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I mean, right you gotta get a hold of the key first, and then which yeah. is gonna be tough since Fred has passed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. I gotta find a new one. Do you, Do you guys know anybody? Any recommendations? Any recos? My guy was Fred. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, Fred. I just remembered. Oh. Okay. There's, there are tissues on CJ's desk there, which is not at all suspicious, in mm. case you need one. <laughs> yeah, that guy always has a runny nose for some reason. I don't know what's up with that. Every time I see him, he's blowing his nose. Yeah. Maybe it's allergies. Mm, maybe. Eric, allergies? Is that something that runs in the family? Definitely. Maybe, maybe that's what I have. Yeah. I don't know about the cousin's side, but yeah, lots of snot. Lots of tears. <laughs> Runs in the family, I think. Interesting. That just sounds like a lot of crying. Definitely a lot of tears at all the funerals I've been to. Oh crying definitely runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a sensitive folk. I respect that. Yeah. Or do you do you rage cry? It, it kind of runs the gamut. Mm-hmm. Gambit? Gambit. Gambit? That's what I said. Queen's gamut. Gamut. <laughs> the gamut. Runs the gamut. That game. Uh huh. Yeah, angry crying, sad crying, happy crying. Which one is the one that brings you the most release? A good angry cry, just screaming. Can we hear some of that? At your fiance. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> good save. <laughs> oh yeah. Speaking of dating, uh, uh-huh. cousin Mike, how's that? How's that going? Is it? Um, That's not a good question. Not mm-hmm. too much. Let's see here. I think canonically, I am single. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. Mm-hmm. You really, you really are <laughs> adhering to this ca- canon. I'm yeah. not really sure what that. I want to. I want to do that in my own personal life to start <laughs> saying canonically. I think yes, I do have childhood trauma. <laughs> yes, I, I believe. Yeah, I'll have to check the backlog. Uh, but I, I think yeah, in previous episodes, yeah, I have memory had... <laughs> serves. I'm uh, pretty fucked up. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that's canon. And that's well, the canon, fans maybe. will have to tell me. I don't know. <laughs> you can write in. Let me know. Tune in next week to find out if any progress is made. So I'm going to start saying to my therapist, <laughs> stay tuned for next episode. Manic episode. You start every session with previously on. <laughs> you know you can stop doing that. You're wasting 15 minutes of this <laughs> no, session. No, 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 I got to catch this up. <laughs> yeah. This is both for you and me. I got to remember where we left off. It was a off. cliffhanger. Yeah. In a lot of ways. <laughs> Hey, should we talk about the show at all? Wait, okay, no. yes, but I want to. I do want to hear. Oh, the love life. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the apps, Tinder, Griller, um, Griller. Yeah, I haven't heard of that one. That's for the more outdoorsy folk, the people that like to use a grill. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That seems very specific. Yeah, I mean, you know, all the, there's like farmers only and things like that. So it, there's a niche app for everything these days. And you're on Griller. So I'm on Griller. You yeah. like being outside and mm-hmm. using a grill? Yeah, that's kind of my day to day. Oh, I, how well, I make a living. I didn't actually really know that. We just talked about it. Completely <laughs> covered his entire career. Ah, oh, this is news to me. Are there are there lots of women on those apps? Uh, there's a few, yeah. A there's few. like two, three or so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I guess we can talk about this show. I was just, I'm, I'm so curious about you. You know, the breaking and entering, mm-hmm. the, the family relationships. I, I didn't realize there had been so much loss in your family. I'm so sorry. I feel like that should have, you guys, oh, see, oh God, <laughs> he wasn't even related to you. Your grandparents, your like parents are dead. Oh my gosh. Wow. Really interesting. <laughs> Lots to unpack here. All right. Speaking of packing. Speaking of family dying. Segway. Yeah, just take that in for a second. <laughs> Whose voice is that? Uh, pe- friend of the show, uh, Nadja Bati. Nice. Mm-hmm. Wow, I miss I her. Nadja, if you're listening, call me. Let's hang out. If you're listening, let's stop. do some bits. <laughs> <laughs> My recommendation to you is go do something productive. Yeah. <laughs> stop listening to this. We discovered that uh, Nadja and, uh, and by we, I mean Ken and CJ, <laughs> discovered that Nadja and Ken live like 10 minutes away from each other. Oh, Whoa. wow. Yeah. That's Are they destined to fall in love the same way CJ and his fiance fell in love? Oh, uh, be in... one town over and yeah, yeah. all that? Maybe. Their whole life. I don't no. know how Meg would feel about that, but. Uh, Listen, yeah. maybe she's, she a, she's a hot that. commodity. She, she'd find somebody. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to put 30 seconds on the clock. Oh, wow. For, <laughs> yeah, we haven't done this, I guess. Not it. Oh. For Eric to describe the bear, uh, ready to go. All right. It is a show that takes place in Chicago. Chicago, baby. And they make beef. And they're occasionally a bear does show up. Mm-hmm. No Co- one can argue that. Co- waiting for confirmation. Yes. <laughs> um. And uh, they're chefs. And okay, uh, a guy inherits a five, restaurant from four, his brother. Three, tries to run two, it. Hilarity ensues. Mm. Yeah, I should have shouldn't have said not it. I probably could have covered that one. <laughs> yeah, does hilarity ensue? There's some funny moments, and I think when I googled this, it does say like comedy series. But I it's a I dark, don't know about that. Yeah, a dark comedy. Yeah, yeah, a dark comedy feels right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I was chuckling a couple times. Can't think of a single example, but... Yeah, why bother? I did watch this entire show yesterday. <laughs> so <laughs> How'd that go? A little surprising. I don't remember a single bit from it. <laughs> but I actually recommend watching it in one sitting. I yeah. Think, yeah? Yeah, I think it does well in a binge style. Mm-hmm. I think the reason it feels that way is because so little happens <laughs> yes. that you need to watch all 10 episodes yeah. back to back to be like, okay, I got the plot line. There was only the one. So that was exactly my feelings. I, I think I finished the whole show in a week or so. And at the end of it, I was like, I like that, but I don't know that anything happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like not much happens in the show, but yet I kept watching. That's kind of what I liked about it. It was very, it's very slice of life, very Jim Jarmusch, Richard Linklater. Oh wow! You know, are those real people? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. Cool. Uh, yeah, I felt like it was high stress. I thought yeah. yes. I thought the the like the shooting of it was really interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's always fun to watch a show that is shot in the place where you live because you can be like, oh yeah, yeah I uh, mm-hmm. live on that street. CJ had said something about. Uh, was it CJ, or were you saying something about an overhead shot of the highway? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think you were saying something like oh, that, Okay, actually. maybe it was me. <laughs> Listen, short-term memory, not my strong suit. Uh, yeah, about the, the guy was like, ah, oh, what, what are we doing on the Kennedy? And they were clearly on Lakeshore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just stuff like that with continuity that when you live in the place where something is shot, you're like, mm, that, is, that is incorrect. Yeah. I, yeah, and it's also like the things, the references they make are like, Anyone actually living here, it's you roll your eyes at, but you realize like those are the things for the the other people, like all the ketchup stuff. Yeah, the lesser people. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah. If memory serves, uh, the eating is next to the freaking lake. How did yeah. you screw that up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know. I personally, I believe it's episode three or so is named series, which is uh, a restaurant at the lobby of the the board of trade. Uh, which I am very familiar with. Uh, if you go there to order a whiskey and Coke, a drink of mine that I, I like to indulge in. Oh, CJ really likes those too. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How's that never come up? That's yeah, weird. That's interesting. They literally, uh, instead of mixing the drink for you, they hand you a glass that's just full to the brim of just whiskey and a can of Coke on the side. Mm. 
And boy, I tell you, you get messed up. That's one way to do it. And yeah. it was, that was in the show. I think they say that that's like only a happy hour thing. Is that an all the time thing? I can't remember given the drinks that huh. I was being served. <laughs> Okay, I think that's probably indicative of just how full that glass is. And now that you mentioned it, I think actually CJ was telling me one time that him and his cousin Eric would hang out there before Riot Fest and just get oh. pretty drunk and then hop on the bus to head to that music yeah. festival. That's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. When all it took was two of those and you are good to go. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But uh, that was back in his younger years. Speaking mm. of segues, uh, the... Segway. There it is. Miss you, girl. Um, uh, Stop listening to this. I thought the, the storyline of, okay, so the main chef guy, he worked at the best restaurant in mm-hmm. the world. And the then, Bears. Yeah. And then came, uh, came back to, thank you, came back to run this restaurant for sentimental family mm-hmm. reasons. The, the other woman who comes on as the sous chef, she does a thing where she... Really wants short rib to be on the menu. For some reason, she's really passionate about short rib, which is like a very difficult and labor intensive dish to make. And they want to make it at this beef stand. Uh, And she makes it in the dish, big time spoiler, spilling all the beans. Uh, The dish ends up in the hands of a food critic who then writes an article talking about how great this restaurant is and it's becoming more upscale. Mm -hmm. I'd love to pull the room and say, do you think that this was. One, one, do you think that it was at all intentional? Two, do you think that that was a real dick move to do when mm-hmm. head chef was like, no, 40 times? Don't do that. Yeah. And like knowing the consequences and another spoiler, knowing that there's going to be a season two. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. I told you, spoiler. Did you not listen? <laughs> <laughs> so like knowing that there's going to be a season two, do you think that that is going to, how do you think that's going to come back and bite wow. that character in the ass? I definitely think it was on purpose, and I, I'm so conflicted about whether that's a dick move, because I don't really even necessarily agree with the bear's reasoning. I forget his name. Da Bear. Bears. Da Bear? What's Chef that? Bear. Chef. <laughs> Chef. <laughs> um, I don't really agree with it, but he did explicitly say, like, hey, I just need your patience like just give me like some time like we'll work Mm -hmm. on it and then she went and did that presumably that is a little like "Eh, yeah but it worked can't argue with success so that's my cop-out answer (laughs) yeah i think it's hard to say because she seemed pretty frustrated which i do not blame her at all given the atmosphere and environment the workplace and I, it must be difficult being knowing that, like, I am so good at this. I will crush this thing, I guarantee you, and not being given the opportunity to do so. But at the same time, yeah, she kind of joined specifically to learn from him under his tutelage to get better. Knew what she was getting into. It clearly is just like a beef and hot dog stand kind of thing. I wouldn't ever expect to see short rib on a place like that. So I don't know. I, I do like the show's way of getting around it of like, oh, she just happened to give it to the food critic. Like that was a kind of a cool yeah. thing for it to happen or, or yeah. And ultimately it works out. It gives them then publicity and all of a sudden they're like loaded with orders and good for business. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That whole thing that happened with the pre-orders and the crazy amount of orders yeah. that, that came in all at once. I, don't, I have no idea how I would have handled yeah. that any different i mean yeah i have pre-ordered food like when traveling mm-hmm. uh last time i was in portland i pre-ordered something and <laughs> the the day that i went to go pick it up they sent me or they called me i think and they were like hey yeah uh, sorry we uh we just don't have it <laughs> 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 and they refunded my they just gave me my money back which it seems like an easy solution i'm sure in an app like that there's a button right yeah. the restaurant can push it's like oops mm-hmm. <laughs> we fucked up right you know it I know that they need the business. I don't know. How, how, would you, how would you have handled it? That looked like hell. Yeah. I think in the moment I would have reacted the same of just like unplugging everything. Yeah. And be like, oh, fuck. And just getting, getting the machine to stop. Which I don't know why they didn't do that sooner. At least like 
we realize something's fucked up. You don't need to keep printing the receipts. Right. Like, that's not doing any... The orders are online. They're in the website. They're not, like, each physical... You can just stop the machine from wasting all your paper yeah. once you realize something was fucked up. Also, it was, like, they made a point to say how many numbers of all the orders they had. And then the pre-orders came in, and all of the pre-order numbers were higher. So... Okay, well, you just like physically don't have enough food to yeah. fulfill those orders. So, like, you how you would have to just cancel and refund, right? Yeah. And in that yeah. case, like, it's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But put an apology out on Instagram or whatever, yeah. you know, thing that you've got to do, and then only take the walk in orders. And it's, yeah, it seems like an easy solution. I understand the freak out. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I also. So segue into the the guy no don't do it <laughs> don't do it don't push the button uh hey, oh, get your finger away from that button mike <laughs> okay, okay. uh the the pastry chef guy mm-hmm, you know yeah. getting really obsessed with the donut yeah. and then at the most like at the high the point of high stress yeah. you're like hey you want to dry my donut it's like yeah. i don't want to dry your donut <laughs> yeah yeah. Uh, yeah what a what a weird time to do that and then to just be like i guess i quit mm-hmm. right and then you yelled at me once and so i guess i quit and then i'm just back a couple days later right. <laughs> yeah oh i guess i must have overreacted because my boss yelled at me for doing something i shouldn't have done yeah so yeah will you take that he me, told back? me not to do right explicitly it was like yeah it, as long as you're making the cakes you can work on your side project mm-hmm. and then he blew the fuse like knocked out the power <laughs> broke the mixer and then got obsessed that. with the donut yeah, the mixer scene especially of like another very quick solution. Turn yep. it off. Yep. <laughs> Something's yep. going wrong. Turn it off. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do wonder how common it is for people to return to their jobs after leaving and like things being cool because two main characters yeah. just left and then came back and it seemed okay. Does that just happen? That's never happened at a job I work at. I have no idea. I wonder if it is uh, service industry Yeah, specific. that's why I'm curious. Yeah. I, I work in advertising, and multiple agencies where I have worked have talked about boomerang people. Who, really? Yeah. Be, I think especially in, an, in my industry, if you want a raise or a promotion, you kind of have to just go get a new job. Interesting. So if you've been in the same role... If you were like a junior person, you're like, I really want to be a mid-level person. You go to the, the other agency, even if you liked where you were, if they're, if they're like, hey, we don't have $10,000 to just give you, <laughs> then mm. you go to a different agency. You work there for a while. And if you really liked what you were doing, usually in a, if you didn't you know, leave a bad taste in their mouth, they'll take you back. But at, at the current agency where I am, there are like dozens of people who they're like, oh, yeah. And then I went and worked at P&G for a while. And then I came back. Whoa. <laughs> Which is... Yeah, it it happens. That's interesting. I I that like lack of stability, even if it's like self directed, just like gives me anxiety. <laughs> like I need job. <laughs> you worked security. in education, and you're talking about job security <laughs> and lack of stability. I love that. Yeah, well, I luckily you just sign up for a graduate school program. They pay you to teach, and they you pretty much would have to kill someone to get kicked out. So I'm like, all right, next four years, I got a job. <laughs> what if it were for research purposes? Yeah, I guess if I like falsified data and stuff, yeah. I guess there's like some pretty easy ways to get kicked out. <laughs> I, I mean, if you it. murdered a guy <laughs> yeah. for research purposes, could you get away with it? Sorry, my thesis was about how easy it is to murder Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it's pretty easy. <laughs> I think if, as long as you shout for science when yeah. it happens, they're they're good. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's a good note. How to get away with murder? Hey, uh, so this is the part of the show that uh, normally we would do trivia, but I thought since we're in CJ's office, uh huh, we could just kind of look through his shit instead. <laughs> oh. So uh, I see. I see. Actually, he's got this filing cabinet with the keys still in it. Uh, do you guys want to uh, take? Let, let me open this and just see what's in here and see what we can find. Oh my god! Does somebody want to catch that cat? Was that Mac? See, I, was he in there the whole time? Also, doesn't CJ work in security? He. I think he does. Yeah. And he left the keys to his filing yeah, cabinet in. I, 
I really got to talk to CJ about this key situation. Listen, we got to talk to him about a lot of stuff. Yeah, uh, clearly. Frankly. Yeah. Oh, actually, uh, it looks like uh, here. It looks like it. I it, is this his diary? Oh, don't open Come that, on, Mike. Man. Let's just uh, let's just flip to our random entry. We'll just if it, if it gets weird, we all have to do this. It's but, already uh, weird. Do you yeah. understand? Yeah, I'll just read it a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, here, and I'll even do my best uh, CJ impression. Oh, great. Uh, uh, yeah. Yikes. Dear diary. Wow. It's me. Well, it happened again. All right. Yeah, actually, you guys are right. Maybe we should do this. <laughs> wait, 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 yeah. wait. What? <laughs> this is a bad idea. Like you guys are right. Like a huge invasion of privacy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're right. I obviously, I don't want you to keep reading, but I am very curious. What? No, you guys are right. That was a bad idea. We don't have to do that. Well, could uh, you just skim it and see if either of our names are in there? All right. Let's oh, good see idea. Yeah. Let's yeah. flip through. Because nothing. if it is about me, then I feel like I kind of have a right to know yeah that's true yeah uh, no this is just uh are these it's a, it's a little wet are these tear <sighs> crop that's not oh god, not god. Good. Right. cj all right let's flip the page here no and then no 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 mention any of you he's pretty uh just self-involved oh, good. so we're uh not at all important god how dare cj be so self-involved in his personal diary i know <laughs> And yeah, to it seems even, kind of rude not to even mention either of you. <laughs> Between that and not even shooting us a text to say that he wasn't going to be home? We didn't even talk about that Yeah, I mean, he scheduled this record. We showed yes. up because he told us to be here. Correct. So Yeah, he told me to be here too. <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> Do you, wait, how did... So, CJ didn't mean to schedule this then. Did Are you somehow... Texting what? from his no phone. No. Why do you keep winking? <laughs> Be- because I'm just letting you. I got something in my eye. I'm definitely not texting from his phone. Wink. Yikes! Well, it sounds like you're better at the security stuff than CJ is. I mean, I, I for sure wouldn't leave the freaking keys in the drawer. That's for yeah. Much. What the point of even having them? Is I just gotta sit there. What I a mean, dummy. Yeah. To be fair, that is pretty stupid. Yeah, Come on, CJ. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and to lock a cat in there too. That's a whole other <laughs> yeah. level of cruelty. From what I would know about Mac, he is kind of a feisty one. He, he likes to hide in places and things. Oh, got it. He just wants to be around people. Yeah, we'll blame the animal. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Mm-hmm. He wanted to be in there. Yeah. So we're not reading the diary, and we're not doing trivia. Mm-hmm. So I think it's time for ratings. Wow. All right. <laughs> ratings. Oh, hey, thank you, uh, Lauren. Why don't we start with you? Uh, mm. On the scale from one to ten, what would you rate Da Bear for you? I will never remember that this is part of the thing that I have to think about. Uh-huh. <laughs> I forget every time. So I, uh, I'm going to give it like a 6.5. Ouch. Wow. I guess that's maybe not an ouch. It's average. I, like... I liked the way that it was shot. I liked. Yeah. I thought the acting was pretty good by most of them. I, I liked the Chicago part, but it, it felt like... It felt like not a lot happened, and the idea that there's going to be a season two where they extrapolate on not a lot happening yeah. is, I, it kind of kills it for me. Very curious. Yeah. Will you keep watching when that airs? Listen, if CJ bait and switches me and makes me watch that again, and yeah, I mean, maybe. You're kind of convincing me. I, now, like The more I'm thinking about it, the way the season ends, and maybe I won't be so explicit about it in case... People don't. We've want spilled it. all the beans. Yeah, you might that's as well. true. I mean, so it ends really optimistically, where mm-hmm. like it's the type of ending where there wouldn't slash shouldn't be a season two because mm-hmm. it's the entire tension of the first season is immediately resolved. They got a bunch of money that was hidden in the tomato jars or whatever. Like cans, cans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure there were metal jars. <laughs> My favorite kind of jar. Yeah. Metal. <laughs> Metal cylindrical jars. <laughs> oh, also, okay, they found that... I'm so sorry to interrupt your rating. No. I'm desperate to hear it. But uh, me first. Uh, with, <laughs> uh, okay, the money... Uh-huh. I talked to CJ about this. Man, I wish you were here. But uh, I talked to CJ about the fact that, like, yeah, they found all that money in those cans, but he still owes $300,000 to an uncle. So has was that guy just, like... Asking for loans and then shoving it in the tomatoes and like that the debt doesn't go away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And at the end of the show, they're like, "Okay, I guess we're gonna I guess we're gonna open our own restaurant where we can serve short rib and risotto." And it's like, "But you have 
Yeah. Incredible debt. Yeah. And the, like, so they have that debt separately. And then they the, also, the IRS is actively investigating their books. So it's like, you can't just have a bunch of unmarked cash <laughs> no. if the IRS is like interested yeah. in what you're doing. Why is this sopping wet and yeah. smells like tomatoes? <laughs> yes. Why haven't you been using this money to pay the taxes <laughs> right. that you haven't Correct. paid? For the last five years. Yeah. So I guess, yeah, all their problems aren't solved. And hey, that's what season two is all about. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just 10 episodes about an, an audit. Yeah. <laughs> Laura, Technical uh, accounting you, details. Were you uh, texting CJ when you were discussing the show? Yes. Uh, <laughs> you got to stop oh, doing that. Oh, God. Uh, that yeah, one, they yes, I was. Picked up by the mic, by the way. <laughs> you might want what? to get that checked out. <laughs> right. Your eye makes this really gross noise that sounds like you saying the word wink i don't know what you're talking about that's just how I, my eyes work Yikes. i think it's I, I i do deal with a lot of like smoke and and fumes at my day-to-day at the yeah. grill sausage fumes mm-hmm. i already forgot Those you meat fumes. <laughs> the, the name of your ska band <laughs> sausage fumes <laughs> i'm so sorry okay so what's your rating oh yeah so well Based on that conversation, it's down a, f- a couple points. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, this was good. It. Okay. I liked it in a pretty uncritical way. I kind of was just letting it wash over me. And I was like, I'm happy to kind of live in the lives of these characters. Mm-hmm. Um, very, like, slice of life. Like I said, that's that tends to be my vibe with content. Um, but there were some drama and some stakes. So mm, Stakes. Yeah. <laughs> The grill, I'm so hungry. You're not at work, man. No, I'm at work. Uh, I'll give it an eight. Dang. Wow. So you were going to give it a 10, <laughs> and it got knocked down got a few points out. by my critical review, and now you're giving it a bruising eight. In the past two minutes, my score has gone up and down several points. <laughs> I, I came in here today thinking I was going to give it an eight. <laughs> And I still did that. So it went up and down the perfect amount. They yep. canceled each other out. Yep. And he was crying the whole time. Yep. <laughs> Angry tears. Oh, it's going to be a date. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Mike? Uh, for me. Uh, let's see. That's what they do, right? Uh, uh-huh. You know, uh, I think I'm in the handholding club with uh, Eric. I, I think it's also an eight for me. I, I don't know why, because... Nothing happened really in the whole show. It doesn't have like a much of a plot, but I kept wanting to watch that. But the next episode, I also agreed that they should have just ended the show. Yes, (laughs) that was kind of the perfect ending, sort of. But uh, yeah, very curious to see how season two goes. I don't think it'll be as good because I don't get how. Because then what happens? Then they open a nice restaurant and then they're successful. Nobody wants to watch that. That's a boring show. <laughs> yeah. That one's also stressful yeah. in the same way. Right. But they yeah. can afford it because that's successful and they have money now. Yeah. Like, who cares? We should predict what's going to happen. Like, are they, Ooh, yeah. do we think that he's going to, maybe he gets an offer back from Noma and they're like, mm. please, that, that Joel McHale. your mentor uh, died and we desperately need the, oh, the best guy for the job. You come, should come back up for this season. And the main chef was killed by the bear. There you the go. The bear got him. <laughs> yes. yes. The bear got him. Yeah. yeah. Like, what's the tension going to be? Like, yeah. is short rib girl going to hustle him out of his job somehow? And... Ooh. Hmm. I feel like it'll still be money drama, right? It has to be. Yeah. I'm, I'm already bored of the money drama. I, <laughs> yeah. I do, unless they find more money in... Cans of green beans or something, I, like jars. Yeah, or, yeah, exactly. <laughs> then it's it's just like a weird geocaching thing in their own <laughs> restaurant. So, <laughs> like, yeah. What else do you think has money in it? <laughs> Start ripping apart season, cushions. And... Season two is just not tearing the shit off. Yeah. Of everything. There's got to be more. <laughs> Check the arcade machine. Check the mouse traps. <laughs> the toilet that exploded. There's got to be stuff in There's there. There's cash in there. <laughs> this is full of nickels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was wondering why that was so heavy. <laughs> I think get so many nickels in here. <laughs> the brother was alive the whole time. <laughs> He's planting money in places. <laughs> yeah. 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 He- yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a dead on impression of that character. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, the the beefy restaurant owner guy. Oh my god! Uh, last thing I want to say that I just remembered. I I 
I might have missed it in the earlier episodes, but it gets revealed in like later that this restaurant is based in River North. Mm -hmm. Were you guys getting River North vibes from this? <laughs> no. Place? So I, I I will say River North definitely not those types of vibes. But given the history of the city, and that's kind of where the city started, ah. there were a lot of like old school diners and delis and stuff like that in that area. I think most of them have since been pushed out because real estate has skyrocketed in that area. And everything's very expensive. But yeah. They show that place right next to the Green Door Tavern. And there is a beef restaurant literally right next to it. Whoa. Like there is a real Mr. Beef in Chicago. Mm. And that, that main I'm actor. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, well, you're in the right line of work, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. that main, Self fulfilling prophecy. The the main actor guy came and went to the restaurant and was like, "Hey, ah. I'm the main actor guy. I guess I should try some beef." Whoa! Uh, give me some like, beef, cousin. This shit sucks. <laughs> hey, uh, you got any cans of tomatoes back there? <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> oh, so it happens for you guys too when you do it. So oh it's no! Just Is yeah. this contagious? Is this pink eye? <laughs> oh God! I just got over pink eye. <laughs> oh. Huh. Do you want to get into that or should we move on? No, I've said enough. Okay. <laughs> well, I would say uh, thanks so much for coming on the show. Uh, this was a blast. I love having you guys on, I think, all of my episodes. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. I hate it. <laughs> okay, okay, great. Uh, anything to plug? No, I, it, hey, it was really nice to meet you. And you you're as well. Uh, a lot shorter than I thought you'd be, mm -hmm. based on the family. I thought that came through on the Zoom. Uh, <laughs> My yeah, old yeah, demeanor. Yeah, yeah. 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 You're a real 5'7 kind of guy. <laughs> I think over talkers stay in a short king, though. <laughs> uh, there's no way to know. Uh, I The last time I was on this podcast with, with you guys, I was writing a book, and I wrote That's the right. book. Hell I finished yes. my first... Uh, um, <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, feels good. Uh, yeah, so that's exciting. I wrote my first draft. It's completely unreadable, uh, but I'm excited to have that done. You can see me uh, draw really poorly for charity on uh, Shaw and Can't Draw on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it for me. I know uh, Cousin CJ is a big fan of that account. He loves the the two penguins are his favorite. He's loves a big penguin guys. guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what do I have to plug? <laughs> I think last time you have some music out there for people to consume. Yeah, the, uh, the page has been pretty quiet so far, but I have been making stuff. So, um, keep an eye out for that. I'm going to be posting it at some point. Fear, comma, smoking on all things, uh, spelled out. Also, uh, let's fix that post office. Bye! <laughs> well, that was... Something. How did Mike get a pair of my keys? I don't remember him cat sitting. Anyways, you can follow the show on all the things at Overtalking Pod, or better yet, tell a friend. This episode of Overtalking was edited and produced by CJ. Hey, that's me. Special thanks to Lauren Shawan, who you can follow on Instagram at Shawan Can't Draw, and my brother Eric, whose music you should check out at Fear, Comma, Smoking. Speaking of music, you should check out. The music you're hearing right now was done by the wonderful and talented Justin Peters. Next week, we'll be joined by Matt Alanese to discuss the movie Frank. See you next week. Love you. Bye.